Welcome back to the channel guys. So let's get right into this video today on this topic and I'm pretty sure this video will be posted on Sunday morning. My time anyways, whatever time it may be with you guys, but I'm pretty sure this video will be posted Sunday my time in the morning. And um, I just want to talk to you guys about karma and how it's a very real thing because what certain people done to you someone called for someone called for and all the wrongdoings that people do because it, it probably wasn't just you that they done wrong people who do this to like for the people that do this to you they're not just doing it to you. They're doing it to everybody else as well. They're doing it to other people as well. I know somebody who did me wrong, and I know that exact same person did somebody else wrong, probably even worse. And I don't know exactly to the extent that this person did this other person really, really wrong as well. I don't know the extent, but I know they did them wrong. I just don't know the extent to, uh, uh, to like how wrong they did them. But I know they did it. And what I know is people that do this to other people, they have it in them to do it. It's either in you or it's not. It's like talent. It's like skills. Some things are either in you or it's not. Some people are built for the NBA. It's in them. Some people are built to play in the MLB, the Major League Baseball League. It's in them to do it. Some people are built to be 304s. And for those of you guys that don't know what 304s is, it means hoes. Some people are built to be hoes. And you might ask why. Why would a 304 stand for hoe? If you flip 304 upside down, it spells hoe. So, there you go. And, uh, you know, If people are built to do you wrong, to do you dirty, they are also built to do this to other people. It's not just you. They're not picking on you. You're just another victim. And it's funny because all the things that these people do, right? It's slowly catching up to them. And they're eventually going to get hit themselves for all the wrongdoings that they've done to other people. You and you are not safe. You want to pull off some shit like that. You're not safe. So don't think you're safe. <clears throat> you're only digging yourself in a deeper and deeper and deeper grave. Is what you're doing. And honestly, the people that get done wrong, the worst, yeah, they might be in a pretty dark place in that moment, but guess what they're doing? They're rebuilding. They're coming up. They're getting better. They're on their way up. And you could be on cloud nine after you did someone real wrong. You could feel good about yourself. You feel real damn good about yourself, don't you? But you're coming back down coming right back down and you will be the exact same person that runs at a time you'll run out of people you did everybody wrong you made everybody mad you pissed everybody off congratulations now you have nothing now you're paying for everything you've done and it's catching up to you it caught up to you like you have never ever would have known it did now you have a bad reputation now everybody sees you as this dirty person. Now nobody wants to mess with you. And now you know what you're doing? You're huddling in a corner and you're crying because you have nothing. You have nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, nobody to talk to. You have nothing. And you can't manipulate people anymore. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to move countries.
I'm telling you guys, this stuff is real. I know people that this have, that this has happened to. I know people who used to be cool with a lot of people and then ended up getting hated. And you know what? There are some people in this world that get hate that is deserved for something that they have done. And then there's people in this world who get what I call undeserved hate. They're doing everything right. They're doing all the right things. They're, they're not targeting people. They're not picking on people. They're doing all the right things and yet they're still being hated because of envy and jealousy and there's two types of hate and this is a difference of what I just explained. There's undeserved hate and there's deserved hate. Narcissists usually get deserved hate. People are people who are not narcs get undeserved hate. It's usually the people that are doing the best for themselves that are getting the undeserved hate, and it makes no sense, but, you know. And it's usually the narcs that are hating on these people because not only do they hate what they're earning and who they're becoming and all these other things, they hate them because they cannot manipulate them either. The narcs will hate you for no reason because they cannot use you the way they want to. They're not accepting you for who you are. They don't see you for who you are. They're not even capable of seeing you for who you are. They're not. They only see you as a target. They only see you as a supply source. They don't care who you are. They don't care who anybody is. They, don't, they could care less. The only thing they're looking for is supply in other people. The only thing they ever think about is them damn selves. They don't care about others at all. They don't care about growing with others. They don't care about doing things with others in this sense. The only thing they care about is getting their needs met 24-7 without putting or investing anything in anybody else. They don't see it like that. They don't see it as in getting a spouse and working together and growing together. They're going to con and manipulate people for the rest of their lives and live this way. A very low quality lifestyle. The lowest of qualities that there is. They are scums of the earth. They are Satan. They are literally the devil's hyenas. You get what I'm saying? They're just <sighs> little Tasmanian devils just running around, spinning, causing destruction everywhere. Chaos written all over them. Not worth five cents. And you know, it's usually the best looking ones that can, the best looking females out there. I'm telling you guys now. They got a lot of my friends, they got me in the past. And I'm not saying there's no males like that too, because there is. But from my experience, they're devious. They're very, very devious. They look normal. They look above average in looks. They're very, very good looking. They're very, very charming. But what I mean is they look like a normal person. They look just like everybody else. It seems like they behave just like everybody else, like a normal person. And that they have empathy and all these things, but they really don't because it's just an act. They're acting like everybody else that they are around. They mirror everybody else. That's not who they really are. And if you spend enough time around them, they will eventually wilt and their mask will come off and you will see who they are. And that is that, so. But just understand guys that the people that have done you wrong, they are going through it currently. And if they're not right now, and they might be in that season of their life where it might look like they're on cloud nine. The person or the narcissist that done you wrong, it might look like they're living 
their best life and you were on the bottom like because of what they done to you just keep living your life and just wait because their time will come it will catch up and they will have to pay for the things that they've done and there's no going back for them they're gonna have to suffer for some years turn to Jesus Christ and that probably won't even save them so <sighs> the things they do is just it's they're testing batteries let's say that they're testing batteries they only get worse as they age they weren't even so they weren't even so bad when they were a little bit younger they were almost normal they were almost more mature whenever they were 16 17 years old past their 20s past their 30s and stuff like this like it's completely insane the way the, what they become and the things that they do completely insane just gotta watch them gotta watch out for them at all cost and you don't, you don't want to be you don't want to be the person that picks up on a narcissist that is going through their karma either and play victim because there are people that will be like oh this person did this and this and this to me uh, when really they literally done everybody wrong and now they're all sad and they're crying and they're, and they're doing all this stuff because nobody will put up with their stuff and they might find another person to vent to to like play victim role on and they're going to get this guy too. They're stone cold killers and they will get you. They will find somebody, they will find supply and they will put up this attitude and behavior for the rest of their life. For the rest of their life. And they live a very shitty life so who even gives a damn about the narcissist? I know I don't. The only thing I do is expose them. Other than that, I don't give a damn about them. Don't need them, don't want them, don't nothing them. They can go take a hike. To hell with them. But anyways guys, um, I'm about to hop on a two hour call so I'm going to get to that. And um, there is also a huge UFC event on tonight, UFC 264. Uh, Poirier versus McGregor and it's going to be crazy it's going to be fireworks they're both going to come out guns blazing no doubt about it so it's going to be an exciting thing to witness uh. I'm nervous for both fighters Someone, someone's going to get smashed somebody really is it could be a war but someone's going to get hurt in this fight it's going to be very entertaining so excited for it But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, I'm a bit tired, too, so <sighs> I want to lay down just for a second before I hop on this call, and then I'll hop on this call and continue the work, the proper work. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Uh, like I said, this will probably be posted on Sunday morning, and I will do a, a couple more videos Sunday evening. And I'll also post one Sunday evening and then another will come on Monday morning and we continue the rotation. We continue the work. And that is that. So I'll be back guys. Until next time. Peace out.